assalamu alaikum dear students uh, welcome uh, to to the computer science class uh, today we are going to discuss the number system and uh, this topic is very important as far as your uh, exam and your syllabus is concerned in the number system the very first thing we need to understand is uh, the data and information as you all know that the computer it works with the data and the basic role of the computer is to uh, convert the data into information so uh, the role of the data and the role of the information and how this data and information is going to be represented into the computer this is the uh, the subject this is the topic of our discussion and uh, before uh, going to understand how it will be represented you all know that the data is actually uh, the raw facts and figures and they are in the form of numbers they are in the form of symbols or alphanumeric characters and when it comes to humans you know that uh, we can only understand the analog data we can uh, we uh, we can only read or we can feel the analog data like sound like light waves but when it comes to computer they cannot directly understand the analog data the computer is only capable of processing the digital data and in order to and uh, any data that we want the computer to process uh, it must be first converted into the digital data so uh, the process of conversion of the data into information through a process and through the different uh, programs so this process is actually uh is very important this process is very important and the computer process is actually so the process of converting the data into information is very important and it is the role of the computer and uh, but these both data and the information they are actually represented in in different forms like uh, in text in sound in images so therefore it is important that the type of data and how these data are represented so when we uh, when we know that the computer it can process uh, it, it it is actually working with these uh, data and information so it is again going to be very important that how these data will be represented normally there are uh, three types of data which are uh, which which are used by the computers one is numeric data one is alphanumeric data and the third one is alphabetic data the numeric data is the the data which is actually the numbers like the numbers written here they can be further divided into two types like integer and real integers are the whole numbers and the reals are the floating point numbers the alphabetic data are the textual data these are the text data like the the text we use the alphabets we use and the alphanumeric are actually the collection or the combination of numeric and alphabetic data now uh, so we learned that the data uh, and information they are represented in different types of uh, numbers different types of data so uh, we also need to understand that there are different type of number systems uh, which which are used in maths mathematics and these number systems are decimal number system or binary number system binary number system octal number system hexa number system and these are four types of data and your syllabus uh, or this chapter is also uh, about, is also uh, about these four types and uh, you will be learning uh, the all these four types in detail so in our daily life we use uh, uh, among these four we only use the decimal number system like uh, all the calculation all the mathematical work we are doing with the decimal numbers or the binary number system in which we have the base uh, we have the numbers digits from 0 to 9 so we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so all the other numbers are actually uh, designs or developed by the collection of these digits and the number decimal number uh, it has the base 10 this means that the unit it uses increases by the power of 10 so uh, if we if we make a big number 
actually each digit in that big number uh, represents a different place and different power. So, if we take the Denny number like 123, we can calculate its value. So, in 123, we this, this 3 represent unit, 2 represent 100, tens and 1 represent hundreds. So, actually it is the uh, uh, it is the base power. So, here the base power is 0, it is 1 and it is 2. So, you can see on the on the right side uh, we have uh, the 3 is actually unit. So, when we move and on when we uh, move from 3 to next 2, 2 is on the place of 10s and 1 is on the place of 100. So, the power of 10 is increasing when we move toward left side. So, here the power of 10 is 0, here the power of 10 is 1, here the power of 10 is 2. So, when it is 0, so it is 3. When it is 1, it is 20 tens. When it is 2, it is 100. So, this is uh, this is the this is the science or this is something that is uh, related with every number system. Either we take decimal or we take binary or we take octal or hexa. So, in every number, we have its uh, we have it, uh, its digits with its position and with the base and its power. Okay, so as I told you that uh, the numbers, uh, like we are talking about the decimal number, like the number one is actually decimal. So in the decimal number, uh, so as uh, I've given you the example of 123. So in this number, uh, there is and its base is 10. This is base. So base is 10 means if we write this number 1, 2, 3. So base is 10 base is 10 so we write base 10 and these are the positions so the very first uh, in in every number the first number position is 0 so then we have 1 then we have 2 so we can see that the number is now uh, represented in this form you can see that the numbers are now we have the number like this. So, this is 1, 2, 3 is the number. So, this is its base, it, it, it is its power and this is it, its base. So, we can write like we can do the same by writing this. So, we can write 10 power 0 multiply by 3 plus 10 power 1 multiply by 1 plus 10 power 2 multiply by so, sorry multiply by 1 so we have just just a moment please i have to so this is Okay, 10 power, so the number is 2 and here the number is 1. So, what I am doing is, these are the numbers, let us say this number 3, I will show you so that you will be more clear. So, this is 3 and this is 2 and this is 1 and this 0 is actually power. So, for this 0, this is power and this is power 1 and this 2 is power and this 10 is actually base. So, this 10 is, this is the base and how we get the base? Base from the number. So, you know these 3 are the base. So, we are giving 
so this is how I represented how I represented the number and uh, now if I will convert it 10 power 0 now one point to be noted over here is that every if any number will have the power 0 it will come to 1 the answer is 1 so 10 power 0 is 1 so 10 power 0, zero will never mean it will never mean 0 okay you are not multiplying 10 with 0 it means the base or the power of 0 means 1 so the whole number will convert into 1 so here 1 into 3 and here 2 into 10 and here it is 10 into 10 100 100 into 1 so it is 100 so it is 20 and it is 3 so 123 so you have seen that the same number is now represented in just a different way just in in a way that shows how the number is actually described how that number is defined in terms of it number system so it means the 3 is in the position of unit this is 10 and this is 100 so this is the decimal number now we will in the same way we will see the other numbers like now I will move toward the next other part as well I will erase it so we need to erase it all just wait okay then we have the binary number so the binary number is actually uh, the number which is uh, which is taken from uh, which is another type of uh, number system and binary number it has only two digit 0 and 1 and uh, and its base is base is 2 its base is 2 so binary number is like this so we uh, if for example we have uh, any for example I write a number 0 1 0 0 1 so this is a binary number 0 1 0 so it means we only can have in binary numbers we have only the representation of digit in 0 or 1 we cannot have any other digit and because they, these are only two digits so that is why we have the base 2 so the same number binary can also be represented with the same with the same approach as we did with the uh, uh, with the decimal so here we have the so this is 0 position this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 position and so we will multiply each digit with its position so with the base 2 so 2 base 0 multiply by 1 plus 2 base 1 here it is 1 multiply by 0 plus 2 base 2 multiply by 0 plus 2 base power 3 base 2 power 3 multiply by 1 plus 2 power 4 multiply by 0 so this is 4 okay so 2 power 0 is 1 1 into 1 2 power 1 is 2 into 0 so 2 power 2 is 4 into 0 plus 2 power 3 is 2 2 are 4 4 2 are 8 into 1 so 2 2 are 4 2 power 4 means 2 multiply by 2 
multiply by 2 multiply by 2 so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 multiply by 0 so here it is it will have 1 so we'll have 0 so we'll have 0 so we'll have 8 and we'll have 0 so the whole number comes to 9 so 9 is now it is converted into decimal so this number is actually is 9 with base 10 but here the base is 2 base is the uh, the number base is actually uh, the number which you are actually dealing with so when we write the number in this form it actually is converted into another form it is converted into binary number it is converted into decimal number so this is how the binary number is okay and the main point here to note is that when you will be in in any number the base will be uh, taken from that number so if you are in denry the base is 10 and if you are in uh, if you are in decimal the base is 10 and if you are in binary the base is 2 so here we have the base 2 like in the last example in decimal we were having the base 10 okay so this is the binary number so uh, now uh, the way we have seen the decimal and binary in the same way we have the octal and hexa so i will uh, just write and the octal number they are actually from so when we see the octal number they are from 0 to 7 so octal number are from 0 to 7 it has the digit representation from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 means it has only eight digits so base is eight so while the hexa it has the representation from 0 to f so f means it has the base representation of 16 16 digit it has 16 digit okay and as uh, you have seen the decimal in decimal we have 0 to 9 and the base is 10 and in binary 0 to 1 and the base is 2 okay so these are the representation of the number so uh, I will also now tell you how to how the octal will be represented again the same for example if we have a number 2 4 6 okay one point you need to understand is that when we will have any number for example if we have the octal number no digit will uh, will have the representation above 7 so it means we can never have octal number like 7 9 8 so this can never be an octal number because 7 is correct it is in the limit of 0 to 7 but 9 and 8 can never be an octal number because it is out of the representation of the octal number so in the octal number again this is this is power 0 1 2 and this is base the base is uh, now in the octal the base is 8 so again you will do the same thing with with octal like you have 8 power 0 into 6 then 8 power 1 into 4 and then 8 power 2 into 2 so we will write like this okay and talking about the hexa as well hexa in hexa we again have the same technique but in hexa we have number uh, represented in little bit different way like in hexa uh, we have like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 
and after 9 we have a we have b we have c d we have e and we have f so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 14 15 16 so we have total 16 16 digits so we have 16 digits so this is the hexa number so we have total 16 digits in it okay so after 9 instead of writing 10 we write a and then we have b and after f this is after f we will write what we will write we will write 10 okay and then when you reach to 19 instead of 19 we will be writing a a you will have different different representation okay so uh, th this is all about the type of the number system we will be using and for the hexa okay i will uh, i will uh, show you one example and then we'll finish it so for example we have a number 4 a c so again power 0 power 1 power 2 so 16 power 0 into c plus 16 power 1 into a plus 16 power 2 into 4 so 16 power 0 is 1 into and what is c c is from 9 a b c 9 10 11 12 so it is 12 because we are converting it to, into decimal so whenever we are representing a number it will always con be converted into decimal okay keep it in your mind so 16 1 so it is 16 so it will be multiplied by a so a is 10 so 16 2 what is 16 2 16 2 means we are multiplying 16 with 16 okay so you need to remember the uh, table so 16 into 16 is 256 so you'll multiply 256 by 2 okay so we will have this number like this so we have 12 And then we have 160 then we have 512 and 1 120 1000 24 so 1024 and 60 184 196 so now this is converted into base 10 so uh, this is how uh, we actually work with the number system so that's uh, that's my first lesson on the number system in the next lesson i will tell you how to convert the number system among each other thank you very much boys